Polymer is a large molecule that formed by linking together repeating units of small monomers by a process called polymerization. Polymers can be divided into natural and synthetic polymers. For instance, DNA and rubber are naturally occurring biopolymers, while synthetic polymers such as Teflon, Nylon and Kevlar can be formed by either step growth polymer or chain growth polymer. During 1800, Industrial Revolution had led to a boost in manufacturing cotton in Britain. Britain traders developed a commercial chain and purchased cotton fibers from colonial plantations, then processed the raw cotton fibers into cotton cloth. Historically, natural fibers such as cotton and wool have been used in production of textile due to its comfortability and reliable quality. Cotton cloth is widely used in fashion industry, especially in winter wear such as sweaters, trench coats, and gloves due to its heat insulating properties. However, the decrement of commodity and natural resources helped usher in the invention of synthetic fibers as substitution. Furthermore, fabrics made by natural fibers such as cotton tend to be heavier and thicker in comparison with synthetic fibers, thus they are difficult to be carried around. The downsides of conventional fabrics such as heavier weight and thicker structure in comparison with synthetic fibers, advantage in synthetic fibers production level and cost, as well as its feather-like weight would serve as justifications for scientific solution. Consequently, synthetic fibers have become a menace to the survivability of conventional fibers as coarse wool being ousted out of the market. Polyester is made of alcohols and acids. It was introduced to the American public in 1951. Polyester is a category of polymer contained ester functional group in their main chain. It is widely used in manufacturing woven fabrics for winter wear and it could be a substitute for cotton. Shirts that made from polyester are inexpensive cost, superior strength and resilience, lightweight and hydrophobic. However, it is oleophilic, which means that it is difficult to remove oil stains from the fabric. Nylon the world's first synthetic fiber was invented by Wallace Cathars in 1935. It was not available to the public until after World War II but was used extensively by the military for parachutes and tents. It is made up of repeating units linked by amide bonds and also known as polyamides. Nowadays, nylon is widely used in the fashion industry as the nylon fabrics show its soft and lustrous feel as well as wrinkle resistance. While Kevlar polymer has a structure similar to nylon, except the main polymer chains are made up of rigid aromatic rings and extensive hydrogen bonding. The hydrogen bonds help to enhance the stability of the polymer while the aromatic ring increases the tensile strength of the polymer. Kevlar is used in cut protection gloves, bulletproof vests, and fireman clothing. In 2008 Beijing Olympic, the swimsuits made by polyurethane had enthralled us profoundly when the Olympic legend Michael Phelps with the swimsuits had broke several records that may not be broken for many years. Polyurethane is made by reacting a monomer containing at least two isocyanate functional groups with another monomer containing at least two hydroxyl groups. The product formed is highly flexible, hence it is used in spandex fibers, silk gaskets and swimsuits. Swimsuits made by polyurethane being tested that it actually repels water. It's the new spacesuit from Speedo, the laser racer, an ultrasonically welded, ultra low friction suit that actually repels water. In 400 elite athletes from around the world, Speedo's researchers were able to identify the areas on a swimmer's body that create the most friction. Then, by placing ultra-low drag panels on those areas, they were able to make each individual as streamlined as they can possibly be. The combination of polymer industry with nanotechnology allows smart textiles to be produced. For instance, self-cleaning fabric contains PGMA that sprinkled with silver nanoparticles enhance the dirt-resistant properties of the fabric. 
The clothes can be worn for weeks without washing as the fabric serves as the repellent. Micro encapsulation, which allows various kinds of vitamins, anti infection substance, and insect repellent to be added to the fabric, has created endless possibilities for development of biotherapeutic textiles. In Australia, pregnant women dress themselves up with aloe vera and rich maternity clothes in order to protect their infant from attacking by moses. Let us see how the self-cleaning fabric works. The New Zealand scientists have been working on wearable energy harvesters which can convert body movement energy into electrical energy. Recently, the scientists have been developing lifestyle jackets containing a built-in MP3 player which can link with mobile phone and recharge electronic devices. The fabric is made up of fibers that are able to conduct electricity by placing a thin sheet of metal onto a plastic film and mixing it into the polymer surface with an ion beam. Australian researchers have displayed the system can be used to make inexpensive, durable, flexible, and conductive plastics.